size leash knots, but I haven't done anything else to it. But this is a body wave wig. Oh my gosh, y'all. I really wanted to do a watch me slay this wig because it's body wave. And I really like this pattern. And I haven't did a body wave wig in a long time. And, 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 and. Look at this. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see how deep that part go? Do, do y'all see that? So, like, I'm, I'm really excited about this wig, though. I wanted to show y'all. It's a 20 inch. It was sent to me by Ali Pearl Hair Company. I'll have it linked down below, all the details and everything like that. This has to be a 13 by six because the part is super deep. Like, look how deep that part is. I haven't put it on yet. But let's see. Gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to lift up for y'all. But look at that. It's 20 inch. That's how long it is. Okay, I'm gonna start plucking it now. So usually I would do this like the day before I'm about to wear it just because I like to pluck it while it's wet. It's easier for me to pluck it when it's wet. And it's just easier to see how much you've plucked, how much you need to pluck. But since I'm about to install it right now, I'm gonna pluck it dry. I'm gonna pluck it dry just because I'm gonna be using got to be glue to glue it on. And got to be glue comes off of water. So if I wet this wig right now, it's not gonna really stick with a got to be glue, you know? So I can't wet it right now. Unless I'm gonna have to blow dry it and I don't wanna blow dry it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pluck it dry. But if you're not gonna install it like right now, right now, wet it. But I like to just part out some baby hairs first. Even if I don't use this as baby hairs, I just don't like to pluck right at the hairline. Like right here, I like to pluck a little bit behind it. And after I pluck behind it, I go ahead and just pluck a little bit right here. But I mainly focus on plucking behind this and don't forget to brush it okay keep brushing it as you're plucking because you are plucking even though you might not see it you are plucking it pluck it to your liking because how someone plucks it may not be how you like to pluck it, but that's how they like it. And plus, everybody's hairline is different. And then now I'm gonna just pluck it a little bit like this. I'm glad I'm wearing the middle part because if I wasn't wearing it in the middle part, I would not be plucking it. I I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. If I was wearing it to the side, I would only pluck the side that I'm gonna be showing if I was wearing it in the side part. I put the got to be glue freeze blast on here and then I put the styling gel on here too. I never put the styling gel before to hold it down but I decided to do that this time, so. I'm about to just cut this off now. Oh, these scissors are my trash ones. I just cut this up enough just to tuck it behind my ear. Just like that. My sideburns go a long way, so my hair always show on the side, pretty much, because it's just, that's just how my hair is. Like, my hair just grow so far down, my sideburns. Not even just my sideburns, but my baby hairs, they literally grow so far down. Like, that just runs in my family. Just a hairy person, okay? So as you guys can see, I just cut it, like, right on my hairline, like, right where my hair stopped growing. That's where I... Put it now. I'm gonna just take some got to be glue and just add some on here. I actually really like how the got to be glue look on here. The got to be glue gel 
I like that. So I think from now on, I'm gonna be adding that on here. When I'm holding down the cap, I feel like it actually melts it down more than the got to be glue free glass. Now I'm gonna put some makeup on this. I'm gonna be using a brush and just some foundation. I don't use this foundation anymore, but I would say it's a little lighter than me. It looks way lighter just because I have on bronzer. I'm gonna put it on the wig too. I like to wear my parts deep. I'm gonna put this thing on, but first I'm gonna set it with some powder. I like to put the clip in the back and still. I'm gonna add another layer of the Got To Be Glue Styling Gel. But this time I'm not gonna let it dry, I'm gonna just let it get tacky and then I'm going to apply the wig. So yeah, I'm adding a third layer because I let this layer dry on accident. <laughs> Apply this, oh my gosh, I'm nervous because I still have to pluck it some more. Every time I apply a wig, y'all, I get nervous like it's my first time applying a wig. But okay, let's just put this on. Boom, right. I'm gonna take the end of my wrap to comb, make sure it's clean and not sticky and just brush it through just like that because honestly I don't like to oh that's not far down enough I don't like to push it down just like to brush it and that's gonna push it down and now I'm gonna do this side too there we go and that's my way of pushing it pushing it down Just like that. My wig is on, okay? Like, it's on. Now, since it was only tacky when I applied it, now I have to blow dry it till it dries. So I'm gonna blow dry it some more until it dries. And then we'll cut the lace off and finish up. Okay, y'all. Uh, honestly, I think this is like my favorite wig install so far like I really like how this look even though it was white like you cannot see that white stuff like you cannot see that white stuff that's crazy like you cannot see that white stuff right look at that you can't see it I'm gonna give it about 20 more minutes to dry just to make sure it's like really dry I'm not gonna be blow drying it for that 20 minutes either my dog is in here now so if you hear some chewing noises that's her but yeah I'm about to cut it off now My vision is really terrible. Right. I'm making sure I'm not cutting it too like straight because I want it to look, you know, as natural as possible. Now I'm gonna just add some got to be glue on the sides where I know like it's, I didn't glue it down all the way. Right there, add some right there. I'm gonna add some right here. Look at my sideburns, how long they are. <laughs> I can't help that though, so. You know, it is what it is.
I'm gonna take an eyebrow razor and just and I'm gonna take my duo ended edge brush. One side is a comb and then one side is a brush. And you can just use a two brush really, but I got this from the beauty supply store. And I'm gonna take my got to be glue. I'm gonna use this for my edges, y'all. So I'm gonna take some of my mousse because I need to hold some of this hair back. It's just so like flowy, which is not a bad thing, but just to hold this hair back, y'all, it is not holding back. Finally, okay. Where's my razor? I'm gonna do my baby hairs with some mousse first before I do with the got to be glue. But, and then I'm gonna seal them with the got to be glue just to make sure this is how I want them to be. Oh my gosh. Would I do my real baby hairs like this? I probably would though. <laughs> That's a funny thing. I feel like I need to do a little bit more plucking up. <laughs> Uh, I did a lot of baby hairs, oh my gosh. I'm gonna do a little bit more plucking. My baby hairs could have been thinner though, I will say that. So this came with the hair. As you can see, it says Ali Pearl on it right here. It's best to tighten your hair like when you first slick it down. That's what's best to tighten on your edges. But since I wanted to show you guys, I waited to tighten them down because I waited till my camera became fully charged. Yeah, I put mine behind my ear because trust me, like it hurts. Like whenever I tie my scarves down, it just hurts to tie them down on top of my ear. I can't do that anymore. It really does hurt. Okay, this fits on my head. That's nice. Really nice body wave hair, but I want some curls. Like, I want flat iron curls. You know what I mean? I love doing curls with body wave hair. All right, so I done finished both sides now. Now I'm going to take off the, I would rather curl some hair off my head. Let's see what this, this probably didn't do anything for me. Oh, spoke too soon. And just comb them out. I'm actually not gonna add got to be glue. Just so they could be like, you know, natural and not so harsh. I had to take that shirt off. Oh my gosh, look at my arms. My arms are all bruised up, but specialty. Oh, I forgot to show y'all what it was. This is the mousse that I use right here. This is the only mousse I've ever tried, actually, so. Oh my gosh, it's 12.10 in the morning. It's midnight. I'm gonna take these off now. And I feel like I'm gonna still have to pluck my hair, y'all, because I just like to have my hair plucked more than usual, more than like the usual, I don't know, it's just a me thing. It's really just a me thing. I really like that they gave me this thing, though. I like it a lot. I wish I knew how to layer hair, because if I knew how to layer hair, okay? I'm gonna tie it up just how I had it. I'm gonna tie it up this one first and I'm gonna put this scarf over it and then I'm gonna put my bonnet on. I like this a lot. I like how this look a lot. My makeup looks so bad, oh my gosh. 